if your iPhone isn't charging after updating to iOS 18.5, here are some steps you can take to resolve the issue. Solution 1. Inspect and clean the charging port. Accumulated dust or lint in the charging port can prevent proper contact with the charging cable. To clean it, power off your iPhone, use a flashlight to inspect the port. Gently remove any debris using a wooden toothpick or a soft brush. Avoid using metal objects to prevent damaging the port. Solution 2. Test with different charging accessories. Faulty or incompatible charging cables and adapters can cause charging issues. Ensure you are using Apple certified accessories. Test with a different charger and cable to roll out accessory related problems. Solution 3. Check battery health. A degrade battery can lead to charging problems. To check your battery health, go to settings, then battery, select battery health and charging. If the maximum capacity is significantly below 100%, Consider replacing the battery. Solution 4. Disable optimized battery charging. Go to settings. Tap on battery. Tap on battery health and charging. Toggle off optimized battery charging. Solution 5. Restart your iPhone. A simple restart can resolve minor software glitches that may be affecting charging. Quickly press and release the volume up button. Quickly press and release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side or power button until you see the Apple logo. Solution 6. Try wireless charging. If your iPhone supports wireless charging, try using a QI compatible charger as an alternative. This can help determine if the issue is with the charging port. Solution 7. Reset all settings. This will reset system settings but not erase your data. For that, open up settings. Next, tap on general. Crawl down to the bottom. Tap on transfer or reset iPhone. Tap on reset. Tap reset all settings. Enter your iPhone's passcode if prompts. In the pop-up menu, tap reset all settings. Again, tap reset all settings to confirm this process. If none of these steps resolve the issue, it may be a hardware problem. In that case, it's advisable to contact Apple support or visit an Apple store for professional assistance. This was today's video. Hope you like and enjoy the video. Do like, comment, share and also subscribe to Apple Info YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.